Mr. Tully. He's the biggest rancher around here. Where can I find him? He's over there in the back room. Thanks. Okay. Come in. Tully? Yeah. Are you hiring any hands? Where'd you work last? Well, I was foreman at the Lazy A in Montana about two years. Are you acquainted around here? No, sir. Don't know a soul. Well, I'm sorry. I'm filled up right now. Some other time, maybe. Well, there's no harm in asking. No, not at all. Thanks. Hey, Red Cloud, where did you get this high grade? Uh, me no tell. Well, I was, uh, just thinking. I might be able to put over a big deal where you fellas will make some real money. How about uh, selling an interest in this mine? No sell interest. Me sell only this high grade. Hey, bartender. Yeah. Give me another beer. This time it's on me. Okay, by me, brother. Hey, uh, right, Cloud. How much more of this stuff have you fellas got? Oh, we get plenty more. Well, uh, how about having a little drink? Sure, come on. No. Great Wolf me, no drink. Oh, come on. Drink won't hurt you. Here, Joe. What over there to buy a bottle? Hey, yeah, give me a pint of red eye. Okay. Four glasses. Keep the change. All right. There we are, boys. Come on, drink it up. Uh, Grey Wolf me no drink. Come on, down the hatch. No use. We no drink. Hmm. You uh, want to buy it? Why, uh... Yes, I would if uh, you felt us a little bit more uh, sociable. Ah, uh... oh, come on. Let's have a drink and we'll talk this thing over. Uh, uh, All right, fellas, come on. Here we go. Say, don't you fellas know any better than to force liquor on these Indians? <laughs> <laughs> well, who let the parson in? Never mind the comedy. You lay out for these Indians. Yeah, and if I don't, then what? I'll make... Hey, you! What's the trouble? There's no trouble, Mr. Tully. I just didn't want the boys to get these Indians drunk. Ah, oh, we are only kidding. Well, that's no way of kidding, and you know it. Don't let me catch you at a trick like that again, kidding or no kidding. All right, boss. You're looking for a job, ain't you? Yes, sir. All right, you're a hired as foreman. Start tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Tully. You two come into my office. I want to talk to you. All right.
Hey, Tully, what's the idea of hiring that fellow? And as a foreman, too. He's only going to be a dummy foreman. Besides, he's just honest enough to act as a blind for us. I'd rather have him with us than against us. Now, boys, the next time you ever have any high grade to sell, take it to an assayer in town. A saloon is the wrong place. Thanks, my friend. Now, about that high grade that you fellows so clumsily tried as Indians out. Hey, Grey Wolf. Come, we take high Grey Town. Uh. Indians. Somebody coming. That's all right. That's only Jack. Ooh. Hello, Jack. Did Kelly send you over here to check up on us? Check up. What are you talking about? Well, what are you looking for, then? A split? Hmm. I suppose you don't know these Indians got high grade in those gunny sacks. And you're just itching to get your hands. I think you two fuzz are a couple of low-down crooks. Oh, yeah? And so what? You fellas turn these men loose and give them their high grade back. Or else... Or else what? Or else I'll first take it out of your hides. And I'll tell Mr. Tully to have you fired. <laughs> Say, listen, you're working for George Tully the same as me and Joe, ain't you? Sure. That's why I'm going to have him fire you. <laughs> unless you leave these Indians alone. <laughs> Say, listen, Tully's in on this the same as he and me. And he's getting his split, too. You're lying down your throat. <laughs> Say, listen, you poor fish. You're foreman of the worst outfit in seven states. That's for me to find out. Now, you release those two Indians. All right, Joe. Untie them. Come on, get up. Get on your horses. Uh. 
All right, boys. A little hand here. There you are. Why you do this for us? Well, I hate to see a couple of crooks get away with it. You work for Tully Outfit? You knew. Well, yes. George Tully hired me as foreman about a week ago. Then that is why you are different from other Tully men. What do you mean, different? Most Tully men, like Dick, Joe, they steal horses, cattle, and take our gold. Well, they're going to be different from now on, even if I have to fire the whole gang and get a whole new outfit. Whatever makes you have two friends, you get in trouble. Wolf, me. Huh? You need us any time. Come, TP. Thanks. I may take you up on that someday. Well... Where? So long, boys. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Bloom. Hello, Mr. Loomis. Jack to you. All right, Mr. Jack Loomis. What can I do for you? Well, I'd like to have a package of cigarettes. And a couple of five-cent cigars. Anything else? How about a neckerchief? They're over in the counter. The best we have in the store. Take your pick. Oh, I don't know. You select one. <laughs> This one matches your shirt and your complexion. The soul, best I ever had. I don't seem to know how to tie it. Here, let me tie it for you. Well, that's nice of you. There. I think that looks perfect. Well, thanks, Madge. Say, uh, what are you going to do after closing hours? Nothing I can think of. Great. Can you think of you and me going to a show? Well, it sounds good to me. All right, I'll meet you at 8.30. I'll be here, waiting outside the store. Say, fella, she don't want your company. What do you mean, she? Ray, have you been drinking? Well, I'm looking after you while Mr. Heron's away and don't want any fresh cowboys around. Well, as long as Miss Madge doesn't mind, I don't think it's any of your business. Well, never mind about Miss Madge. You get out of here while the getting's good. I don't see any reason for me to get out. Well, I'll give you a reason. What's going on in here? Dad, Ray has been acting like a crazy man. He attacked Mr. Loomis and then insulted him. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Heron, this happened. But I guess he just don't like me. Don't forget, 8.30. I'll be here. I lost my head, but I'm telling you, that fellow's no good. How do you know? He's all right to me. Well, he works for Tully, and that's the biggest crook outfit in the country, ain't it? That doesn't mean anything. He spends his money in my store. Why, I wouldn't judge no man offhand. Well, don't make any difference. 
I'm just warning you. And... And what? Well, he's shining up to Madge. <laughs> oh, I see where the shoe pinches. <laughs> now I get it all. It's just a big green-eyed monster that's bothering you. Well, whatever it is, I don't like it. And I don't think that fellow's the kind you ought to let spark around Madge. Oh, forget it. Ray is a good boy. He's just a little bit jealous, that's all. Well, he has no reason to be jealous. <laughs> well, how's business been today? Oh, it's been fine, Dad. Shipment come in all right? Yeah, it's in there. What time do you close tonight? Eight o'clock. So long. You better work fast. It sounds like Joe's having trouble. I'll be through here in just a minute. Come to the express office. What? He's lying. Well, ask Dick. Ray was tied up here, and he was down there trying to rob the safe. Why, call him out of there, Dick. Go on, Ray. Well, he sneaked in when I was closing up, and he knocked me on the head and bound me to this chair. I fought him off the best I could, but I was weak from the blow he gave me with the butt of his gun. And then he forced the safe open and was filled in his gunny sack with the loot when Dick came. Do you believe them? Their evidence seemed to be against you. But we leave the judge to decide that. Well, what's our next move? To the jail, Jack. 
All right, pick him up. Where's the loot? Now listen, Tully. I told you I didn't trust that foreman of yours. He spoiled this job the same as he did that Indian high-grade deal. What, again? Yeah. Ray had everything set when Loomis busted in on us. Well, when the marshal arrived, why, we put the blame on Jack, and that left us in the clear. Did they get him? No, he made a getaway, but the marshal's offering a thousand dollars reward for him. Good work, boys. We gotta have him with us, or he'll spoil everything. Every man has his price. And with a reward hanging over his head, he'll listen to reason. We'll frame a scheme that'll take care of him. Well, Starlight, there's going to be plenty of trouble from now on. There's going to be a lot of fellows after that money. Gonna turn me in for the reward? That's up to you. What do you mean up to me? Well, as long as you work with us, you'll be all right. Otherwise, we go after that thousand bucks. Work with you? I don't get you. Ah, don't play dumb. We can put you in the way of making some real dough. Real dough? Say, partner, that's my speed. Lead me to it. I thought you'd see the light. Now, let's talk sociable. What's your scheme? Well, you spoiled our holding up the Wells Fargo, but we'll make that up all right. That's too bad. Hope there's no hard feelings. Now, listen, Jack. As long as we understand each other, here's what's in the wind. We'll take Joe and Dick, you see. You think you can trust Ray? Certainly. Didn't he play up to the boys the night you busted in? You don't need to worry about him. Say, when is this gold shipment coming through? Ray will find out for us. The mine messenger's gonna let him know when he's coming through with a bullion. Oh. Well, fellas, I don't like your proposition. Now, turn around. Now, if you think I'm gonna fall for your phony scheme again, you're out of luck. Keep them up high. Never mind the guns. I'll take care of them. Go get him, and we'll split three ways in that thousand bucks reward.
Hi, Red Cloud. How, my friend? Hello, Grey Wolf. How? Am I welcome? Sure. Everything we have is yours. You better think it over. I'm wanted by the law. Aaron, the town marshal is after me. Just the same. You are welcome as our own brother. Thanks. Come. I hope you have good luck. I hope you get your hope, Red Cloud. Come on, boys. Oh, all right. Selling me out for the reward, huh? Please don't say that. My dad's a town marshal. I've got to do it. Put out your hands, Jack. Put the cuffs on him, Ray. Yeah, <laughs> this will be a pleasure. Well, I guess you got me. Follow me outside. We'll get it going. Come on, get it going.
Yeah. Hello, Red Cloud. What's wrong, Jack? Your hope didn't come true, Red Cloud. Let's take these off. I got another scheme, and I think this one will work. Change my mind. I want to work with you. Well, then why did you beat it the other day? I thought you fellas were laying a trap for me and going to turn me in. I'm not so sure we want you with us now. Oh, no? Well, you do. You need me as much as I need you. How come? Well, so long as the law doesn't get me, I can do your work and nobody will suspect you. Just step outside a minute and we'll find out whether we need you or not. Sure. His idea is to catch us with the goods and double cross us. We'll beat him in his own game and put all the blame on him. Come on in. I guess we can use you all right. But remember, no more tricks. Don't worry, I'm cured. You can start today. Now, Ray expects that gold shipment from the Pine Creek mine. What's he doing here? It's all right, Joe. He's going to work with us. Anything new? Ray just got word from the mine. They're going to ship at 2 o'clock. Good. Come on, sit down. I'll tell you what we'll do. Now, you and Dick will work together. And Joe here will get the boodle. All right, Jack. Here he comes now. Now, you catch him on the road, Ben. I'll be on the lookout. All right.
I'm framing this to get Tully and his gang. Now keep your mouth shut. Now, where's the key to the strong box? In this shirt pocket. Now, beat it back to town. Hurry up! Hey, Jack, you got the key for this? You bet. Well, give it to me. Looks like about $10,000 worth. At least that much. I'll do the driving from now on. What's the idea? Tell his orders. He don't trust a crook like you. Why, you... Jack, he late. Oh, he be here for soon. Here he comes now. Oh! 
Almost spoil our scheme. Get the saddlebags. Hurry it up, boys. in the back. Remember what I told you? Yeah, me know. Give this to Miss Madge so she'll know I sent you. No. Jack say you bring Posse quick to Tully Ranch Cabin. Just hurry, Dad. They'll kill him if they find out. You help Madge put the gold in the safe, and I'll go get the boy. Mm. So, he say give you this. You be sure he sent us. Thanks.
Maybe that's them now. Where's Dick? Oh, he'll be here in a few minutes. I thought he was going to drive. That's what he thought. But he got plugged. What? Well, we got the stuff anyway. You bet we have. I guess I was wrong about you, Jack. You're all right. confession. Go on. And you. You, Tully. Your men. All right, boys. Take this gang down to the jail. All right, you don't you wait. Thank you. We won't be in long. Don't get stuck. Here's a confession. Hmm, that's great, Jack. Now that you've lost your job here, how would you like to be marshal in my place? I'll take it. Fine. You're on the job. Thanks. Well, Jack, your neckerchief. I think I'd better put it on you. <laughs> 